levels of learning. Explore, imagine, create, empower. I'm Marvin Hall, I'm the founder of Halls of Learning and I'm one of the coaches of the Lego Mind Robotics Club. Every year, the Lego Mind Robotics Club competes in the first Lego League Robotics competition. And this year, the theme was Trash Trek. In Jamaica, we have major problems with garbage and that led us to focus on the trash that was collected in this one community called Royal Palm. Plastic bottles and cups and glasses and computers, all that kind of stuff, fridges, couches, things that people throw away that live in Kingston. It all washes down here and so everywhere you turn is trash. For our project, Trash Trek, we wanted to show that on our island, this is a real problem. Even though Jamaica is small compared to the rest of the world, it can still make a really big difference in the amount of plastic bottles and waste that ends up into the water, destroying the marine life. Right now I'm standing in one of the gullies that connects to the community of Royal Palm. And what happens is that for all the neighborhoods along these gully banks, trash is dumped into the gully. And when the rain falls, all of this flows right down into the Royal Palm community and right into the Kingston Harbor. A gully is a waterway that was intended to be used for sewage but has now been uh, basically just been a city garbage bin. There are gullies located all over Kingston so that is why there is a high amount of trash thrown in there. It will clog up the opening of the gully out into the sea and um, also, some of it will sink and be on the seafloor around here. When the trash gets washed out to sea, all the fish and all the other animals, they're going to eat the garbage. And then when the fishermen, when they get the fish, the garbage is going to poison the people who eat it. It do not good, no more. It's about a litre. In the early days, we could have a whole fish with the answer. That happened no more. When, when these plastic buckles you start to come in uh, action, we have net, we go, we go, we go out and see nothing. The, 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 the sea floor, no good. Living at the gully is completely free, well, as long as you can build a house, because people, the government doesn't really check about the property development along the side of the gully. Most um, of their houses are built off of recycled material, it's really packed together. What do you like about Royal Palm? Well, Royal Palm. We don't have nobody that come and terrorize, we don't have nobody. You get me? So we don't have no violence in the place either. Mm -hmm. But this literally a poison slowly without you even knowing. My faith is cleansiness. It's a part of godliness. It is nice and beautiful when the place is effectively clean. You breathe more fresh and healthy atmosphere. Rubbish is for burn rather than to just pollute anywhere at, at all times. You see what I say? There are points in the community where garbage is collected by the national system, but along the banks of the gullies, it, it tends to be easier to dispose of garbage inside of the gullies. It's just naturally when you finish a packet of crisps or a bottle of water, you naturally just drop it on the ground and just walk off. That's what most people would do. I don't think anybody really knows what it's like down here. The first thing Leggy Mine Builders did was to come here and to survey the land which was affected by the trash as well as the water which is affected by the trash. We counted how many plastic bottles were in a specific area as well as the brands that were represented. Sometimes you pick the dope to see like the logo. I didn't like it at all. I don't like picking up garbage, especially like when it's wet plastic. We discovered that there are approximately 
a bit over four bottles per square meter. For a whole football field, you'd see over a thousand bottles. So basically we've done a bottle count on the beach and assessed its impact on the land and now we want to use an ROV to look under the water. We see a lot of plastic bags down there. Well, what Lots we can make out of plastic bags. And yeah, plenty of bags down there. So the major companies in Jamaica have tried to implement a recycling project where you could bring in about 50 pounds of plastic and then you get back some money. But that hasn't been very effective. You, you, you fill up a, a 15 ton truck and it don't work nothing. You're not even gonna get um, $2,000 good. You get what I mean, say? What we, have, what we plan to do with this data is to share it with plastic bottle companies so that they can understand how their products are impacting the environment and this community specifically so that they can understand that the methods they're putting in place are not being effective. No, we're nothing on bottle. Iron and scrap metal, that's mm -hmm. where the, the thing is. The people here, they see the gully as a source of income, so they will collect metals and glass because companies will repurchase that if people were able to bring in 50 pounds of plastic for, say, $50 or $100, which is roughly a dollar US, they would be willing to pick up the plastic, bring it back to the companies. So you think if this new plastic bottle um, system where you could buy them back, how do you think it would help your community specifically? Well, for one, you would have more cash in, in your pockets mm -hmm. going around. That right there so is a one big thing as matter like enough you would unemployed right now. I think it could help, mm -hmm. but it's up to them now to use that motivation what you guys come up with I know, and just lead from there. I, think, I feel like it's a much better project than last year, especially because we were all connected with the, um, the members of the community we visited. Um, we came up with the idea for to make a um, self-cleaning gully that uses um, a system that, that eradicates the trash without harming the water itself. It's a good effort you guys trying to find a solution to fix the problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no one else not doing it right now. So I will obviously have a clean, the whole sea floor clean that we can get more fish coming into, into, into the harbor. I would say people stop because this is what would happen to our future. We'll basically be living in a dump. Everybody has a right to live in a clean environment. So don't think anybody should take that privilege away from them.